everyone, my name is Cindy, and today I am going to share a recipe saver and meal planner organizer app for you. It's called Whisk. It is this app over here that is green with the white sort of W thing on it. I've already downloaded it from the App Store. You could also get it on Google Play, and I'm going to show you how it works. All right, so this is the opening screen for Whisk. You can take your time when going through it, but basically it just sort of introduces you to the concept of uh, the program. So as you can see, you're gonna need to make an account for it. Um, this is my library email, continue. All right, and then we can just keep going next where it keeps giving you that summary of all the really cool things you can see in Whisk. Um, and yeah, so like there are a lot of options in Whisk. What you wanna pay attention to are these little, this little row of icons at the bottom where we have home, communities, recipes, planner, and lists. So let's start with home. So if we go through home, you can see that they give you communities, which are sort of how they organize different recipes. We have 10 ingredients or less, everyday healthy, 30 minute meals. Uh, they also have different like categories, like American recipes, European recipes, Mediterranean recipes, lunch recipes. So if you're looking for food, um, maybe you're like, I really wanna get into a Mediterranean style diet, uh, just, you know, check out see all on Mediterranean recipes and you're going to get all these really great recipes. And when you find something you like, you can simply click on that little banner and that saves your recipe. If you want to learn more about that recipe, you click on the picture. It tells you where that recipe came from, pumpkin and spice.com so you might want to check out that if you really like this recipe and see what else they offer and then they tell you how many ingredients uh, how long it takes to prep how healthy it is and just give you the whole thing if you haven't yet saved it you can click add to and you can add it to your shopping list your meal plan your community whatever I'm gonna add it to my meal plan hit continue I'm gonna allow notifications being sent because that's helpful. You can also edit the recipe, leave feedback, delete it. You can share it by clicking on the up arrow. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. So let's keep going back. All right, and that's kind of homepage. It's just a lot of recipes. Of course, you can search for something as well. What if you wanted to get into a more vegetarian diet? There are just like a bunch of different recipes to search for. And any of them that look really good, uh, I'm pretty interested in this Japanese milk bread, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. Uh, what about homemade Cool Ranch Doritos? Yeah, let's save that as well. And that's just kind of all it is. So if you're all done looking at it, you hit cancel, and it'll take you back to home. Now let's look at communities. So first off, if you notice at the top, you can create a private community with just you and your friends and family. Uh, maybe several of your, your friends are trying to do like a vegan diet together. Maybe you and your spouse want to try to do like a, a protein rich diet or something. And you can just make these private communities for yourself. You can also simply join communities. We got this nice little 10 ingredients or less community that just wants to keep shopping lists short, which means you're going to be part of a community that just has real quick, really easy to make, not super expensive meals, and you can just join it. When you do hit join, this little screen will come up and then just let them know, you know, what you want your name to be. It doesn't have to be your first name. You know, it can be Jojo or Pebbles or whatever. Uh, but I'm just going to put my name. And uh, yeah, I've enjoyed 10 ingredients or less. And now I'm going to hit this back button up here. And uh, let's look at recipes now. 
So, if you remember, I actually saved a few recipes earlier. It's this homemade Cool Ranch Doritos, Japanese milk bread, and chicken Caesar pasta salad. And this is where your saved recipes are going to be. So if you know you saved some recipe, you can just look for it here. Uh, if you're like, gosh, I know I saved something. Uh, it was like about bread. And you can search... And there it is, your Japanese milk bread. Obviously, you'll probably want to do that if you have more than three recipes, but it's the same principle. A fun thing with Whisk is that you can also save any recipe from anywhere. Uh, and if you click the side arrow up here, it'll show you how to save. You can get a recipe saver for your phone, for your desktop, you can scan recipes. So if you have like a cookbook from your mother or your grandmother or someone, and you want to get those recipes digitized, this is a great tool to do so. Create a recipes. There are a ton of different ways to save recipes on Whisk. So I went back and now here is the meal planner. All right, so if you remember, I placed this chicken Caesar pasta salad in my meal planner, but I didn't specify where, and so it's just kind of here floating up. I'm going to say, you know, it's already, uh, it's, it's already further into the week, so let's say this would be a lovely thing to make on Saturday. And I just hold it down, pull it all the way down, keep going, it's in my Saturday spot, and I've dropped it into Saturday. And you can kind of do that with any recipes you've saved for the week. You can also like click on one of these names, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Uh, and you can either create a new recipe for that day, save a recipe link, or add save recipe. I'm going to click add save recipe. And let's make some homemade Cool Ranch Doritos on Friday. Add one recipe. And now you see I've added it. Uh, and that's as hard as it is to do a meal planner on Whisk. I'm like, I was like super impressed when I discovered this uh, because sometimes I kind of drag my feet on meal planning and I thought this was like a really cool uh, little, like little tool they added. And then finally for list, that's your shopping list. Uh, and so when you're going to the store, you know, on a weekend or a weekday or whatever, you can just make your shopping list right there. Uh, you can add items. There are popular ones. You can just type in, you know, I need bread. Uh, they give you a bunch of options and then you're like, oh, actually I need breadcrumbs. And there you go. You've got it put in. Uh, another thing you can do is... We see that when we open up a recipe and there's this add to at the bottom, you can click shopping list and you can choose which items that you need to add. I already have Caesar salad dressing and Parmesan cheese and chicken breast, so I don't need to add all of those. I've unclicked them, but so I'm going to add, I'm also going to deselect black pepper there, right? Uh, and that's a cool little thing they offer, like, hey, do you already have this? It's pretty common. And then I'm just going to add four items. It says recipe added to shopping list. Let's hit our back button. I'm going to click list. And look, I've added those items to your list. And that's really nice that you don't have to go back and forth and write things down and then put it in your phone or take a picture or scan or whatever. It just automatically goes through in the app. So that was a pretty quick look at this recipe saver and meal planner whisk. And if you're like me and like a lot of other people and you're really trying to like streamline your food buying and your meal prep and stuff, I think whisk is a really great option. It's totally free. It's available on both Android and Apple products. And I think it would be great if you gave it a try, if that was something you're looking for. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me uh, or to comment on our video and ask those questions. And I'll do my best to help you set this up and use it if it's something you're interested in using. So thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. And you have a great day.